Hey what's up everybody, it's Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to MXRS's ATV All Out Career Mode. Today we are doing the Pro SX250 West Championship, continuing on with rounds 5 through 8. And we're going to start off with going to Los Angeles and we're going to try to finally pick up a race victory here. I have gone 3-2-2-3, three, two, two, three, but I have the championship lead and I'm just trying to win the championship of course so that I can move on to the next events. But maybe, just, just maybe I'll be able to beat these guys here and we'll see what we can do. On a Honda today, decided to go back with uh, my kind of real life gear set that I have. It's very close to my real life gear set. And uh, trying to take it to these guys on 450s in the 250 West class for some reason. But it's the, the AI that I've created with the Brop um, AI creation part of the game or whatever. Oh, that's not a good line right there. Just hopping over Ken Roxon. We got Anderson, Tomac, and Roxon all up front. It's like literally watching a real Supercross race. And Anderson, the Supercross champion, is leading. I like this setup though, this decor visuals graphics on the Honda. Um, I just actually upgraded the engine and the suspension package all the way up, so I'm, I'm running the full, the full shebang here. And I feel like it looks just so like, nice and clean side cam action. Jesus, I'm riding terrible though in Supercross here. Definitely got to have a flow on these tracks. It's not easy to just kind of pound stuff and carry your momentum that way. You actually have to try to land stuff clean, hit jumps smoothly, definitely charge the whoops. Like going wide and then hitting the whoops hard is very helpful. And look, I'm just getting blasted. Anderson, Roxon, Webb all up front. I got Tomac breathing down my neck still. A little whipper tail. Definitely love the whip feature in this game. Love the feel freeing, the, the, the free flowing. <laughs> the feel freeing. <laughs> what the heck? What was I trying to say there? The free flowing I think is what I was trying to get at and um, yeah, the free flowing Air physics in this game are pretty sweet, I feel like. Definitely adds to the playability of this game over some of the other games because it's not as realistic. The corner speed's a little bit too high for my liking, but being able to come out and kind of throw the whips down pretty easily is a fun aspect of it, no doubt. And that's what they worked really hard on in this game, of course. Free the whip. Hashtag free the whip was their slogan with this game. I am racing these guys on all-time difficulty, so this isn't just any walk in the park to try to beat these guys. It's actually you know, they're trying to make it tough on me, which good. It's a career mode, you know? It should up the difficulty when you get there. Little triple triple into the supercross triple right here behind Anderson. Can I get him for the lead? run at this rhythm section. Ah, I went too long onto the tables. And then just blow the rest of the section out. So I'll clutch up and get ready to hit this triple here. Anderson jumped off the track. That's going to help. And a triple here. Ugh, not quite. Don't worry. We'll just hit the whole thing like a whoop section. <laughs> oh, wow. Triple in. Almost quadding in there. And then triple single into the corner. Double, triple, triple here. It's actually a pretty fun track. I like this Los Angeles track. It's got some cool lines in it. And it just feels so good when you can actually downside these jumps. And finally, got a race victory on the season. Ah, the luck of the Honda. <laughs> Taking it to Anderson and Roxon. And like I said, I think I have the points lead. Yeah, pretty comfortably. So over Reed, who was nowhere to be found in that race. What the heck is up with that? Next up, we are going to Salt Lake City, then Seattle, and of course Las Vegas to wrap up the West Championship. Or will it be Las Vegas, or maybe a different race? I'm not sure. I think they do have 17 rounds of Supercross in this, so... Either the East or the West Supercross Series has to have one more race, I'd assume, right? 9 and 8 to make 17, just like it is in real life right now. Another hole shot with my patented hole shot device. Oh my! Just sent it almost all the way onto that tabletop. 
I've got the lead. Can I keep it? That is going to be a question I probably will have an answer for. Pretty quickly, because that's going to be a no, I would assume. Especially with this terrible of a drive into the whoops. Oh my gosh, that was dismal. Oh, went over the tabletop. Still get the run for the triple. Oh, a little short. That's okay. We're good. I got it. It's fun picking this game up again because it's been a little bit since I played it. Um, had someone on the channel say, hey, you should play the Supercross series, and I kind of forgot that I was on the Supercross part of this game. Um, so there's a little bit of re-motivation to continue on with the career mode and go back into some Supercross action. But I've been playing a lot of MXGP Pro, of course. Um, started playing Monster Energy Supercross the game again a little bit. Throwing in a couple other new games in there and still playing Sim, of course. And then you come back to this, and it's it's such a different game. Like it, For those of you that are still maybe trying to decide between picking up Monster Energy Supercross or MXGP Pro or this game, um, it, this the whole thing just feels so much different than <clears throat> those, those uh, other two titles that I just mentioned, MXGP Pro and Monster Energy Supercross the game. Very different feel, different playability to it, I feel like, as well. Um, it's a, It's got a fun feel to it, I feel like. Um, the other games are definitely fun, but like I, I have mentioned in those videos that I've, I have of playing those games, uh, they're meant to be kind of more realistic and, you know, replicate the GP series and the, the Supercross series in some level. Whereas this game, I feel like, yeah, you can do some kind of unrealistic things, but, you know, they made it as fun as they can to play, and... You know, I, I think it is fun to play. Some people don't like it, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not a hater. I don't wake up and have haterade for breakfast. I actually have coffee. Ugh, I got a sneeze coming. My nose just stuffed up real bad. So I apologize if I unload into the microphone. I'm kind of known for having some hellacious sneezes. I get that from my father, who pretty much wakes up the whole neighborhood every time he sneezes it seems. My sneezes are pretty epic as well, but it looks like it's going away. My nose is clearing up. That has been my personal rant of the video. <laughs> Alright, so this was actually a little bit easier race in LA and shorter too. The lap times definitely seem to be down here. So held on here for the victory. Well, I maybe spoke too soon. That was dangerous business there. Got the victory. We'll backflip for style over the line. All right, two for two in this video. Didn't even win one race in uh, the last video, and now I'm two for two here. So apparently picking up the game after not playing it for a while is a good luck charm. Now it's time for Seattle. Loading screens. Remember when you used to have uh, a little free ride area to play during the loading screen? Ah, those are the days. Get out of the gate so fast against these dudes, then they all catch me by the end of the straightaway because, again, for some reason, they are on 450s. Oh, shit. I don't know if I've played Seattle yet. This doesn't look familiar, although I feel like I've played all the tracks. Okay, Blake Baggett, easy there, Turbo. No need to... Okay, Cole Seeley, thanks! All right, guys, what are we doing here? My goodness. Jeez, these guys are all over the track. What happened to the AI? Drank, like, 18 cans of energy drink. Right, everybody's going inside, so I'll follow and try to hit the same lines as them, but really do them worse. Oh, Seely just wrecked Ken Roxon right there. All right, one lap in the books. Moved our way up to fourth. We're going to move some tough blocks out of the way. Oh, that's a cool little floater triple coming back to the starting line here. Gonna double into the first turn. And then this one is a on-off if you can make it that way, but almost just wrecked it. Reed's going to get back for second, and Anderson is leading. 
<laughs> just landed on the inside, just completely wrecked Bagot right there. And Reed, gonna get passed up too. Just sweetly downside of that triple. If only I was landing straight, that would have looked a lot cooler. Let's go wide this time. Try this outside line. Should have tripled in there. Instead, we're just gonna basically go on, on, off. Double into the corner. And pass Anderson for the lead on to lap number three. Man, my oppo whips are dreadful. Holy cow, that was like the world's fastest reset. What the heck happened there? I was not even expecting to be riding. And suddenly I'm riding again. Ah, should have preloaded. It's all right, downside of the table pretty cleanly, so kept the drive alive. Anderson turning on a dime and leaving a nickel change in that corner. Oh boy, dang it. All right, come on. Maybe you can still get the win. At the very least, don't want to lose out to Mr. Chad Reed here. So let's hit this section clean. We'll triple in, triple up, double off, double into the corner. Might get around the outside. Anderson, and nope, I'm gonna blow the corner. Oh man, and Anderson messed up, but I'm still not gonna get there in time. Uh, Anderson Reed, myself. Totally had an opportunity to win that race, and I didn't. Whoopsie doodles. It's all right, still got the championship lead. And still have yet to finish off the podium, just gonna kill him with the dungeon method all the way to the championship as we head to Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very interesting track map in this game where it starts outside but then comes and wraps inside of the stadium then circles back out so it's weird but still cool i don't think that they could actually do this at the real las vegas though because of where the uh, men's locker room is at sam boyd stadium it's kind of like right here so i just they would they kind of run into it if this is what the starting gate was actually like but still a very cool idea nonetheless to do this whole 360 thing right here then you come flying into the stadium, triple, 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 single into the corner, almost killed all my drive. Ooh, these are big whoops. Got the big boys here. Finish line jump. I keep whipping to the, I call that whipping to the left, because I use the left or the right joystick to crank it left but I need to try to change it up here maybe whip to the right a couple times I feel like I'm better at whipping to the right than I am to the left but I've just been going hard with the left hand whips this lap is not that long oh boy man these rhythm sections are lame as dude what the heck like no big jumps in them it's just all these little tiny small like ski jump looking singles sending it a little short that's all right we're good we are good all right so we're gonna swing out here get a huge run coming across the start straight here wheelie in not quite able to quad triple 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 and single to the outside here Let's try and whip to the right. Oh, way too much D's. Up over the line. White flag in the air. Last lap of the 250 West Championship. Looking to pick up the dub here. Can't even triple across that. Can I triple across this one? I should have preloaded. Thought I didn't need it. Oh. Tough block just sent me for a little bit of a loop de doop there. Hey, look at these rhythm sections. Like, what is this? What even is this? And this one's tiny too. Hashtag lame. But it, I don't know. I feel like all these games have fun value to them in their own respective ways. Like, I get a little bit of, you know, I don't know if I would call it hate, but just 
clap back from some people that say like I, I shouldn't like a certain game or this that or the other thing for whatever reason but I just like all of them they're all fun they have different playability values to them I don't feel like you have to be so narrow-minded and just like one game you can like a lot of games people I'm sure ATV all out is definitely a pretty fun game and we are 250 Supercross West Champions, three wins. Every time we uh, finished the race, we were on the podium. Nice. Got an achievement. Looking so fresh. All right, so. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, and we'll exit. So I got that championship. So let's take a look real quick at what will be coming up next time I play. Uh, we probably will be doing 250 Supercross East, but I'm not 100% sure that's right. Yes, it is. 250 Supercross East Championship, nine events. Oh, so there was... No. It says there was nine events there, but that was definitely only eight. That's weird. Okay, well, 250 Supercross East Coast Championship coming up in the next video. So I thank you guys for watching another video here on the channel. Um, let me know if... You want to see me do something special for the 250E series? Maybe a 125? Anything you want, I'm here for you. And I thank you guys again for watching this video. But I'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.